everybody. Mailman here, 23, 24, 25 harvest for 2020 tonight. It was a night of changes. I was heading down to where I seen those daylight hogs at. That's where those hogs up on top of that horizon. I was going to get back down there, try and get some daylight footage with my X site. On the way down, my friend called me, Mark Kennedy. We have been friends a long time. We actually killed our first hogs around the same time together, and that's when we met. We seen online where we were both going after hogs. He went in the thermal before me, motivated me to buy a thermal. I went with ATN, and we have had fun ever since. The great thing about Mark is Mark is just as happy when I kill, and whenever Mark kills, I'm just as happy as if I killed myself. So I love guys like that. They're rare to find guys that are happy for you whenever you actually are successful. So me and Mark always have fun together, and we seem to always kill together. He calls me up, and he says all of his feeders were hot yesterday, right before the storm. Matt was going to come down with me, but he couldn't make it down fast enough now because there was a change of plans. So... Now, all of a sudden, I'm changing. I always take my binocs with me, ATN binocs. That's a binoculars that I record with. Now, the plan changes to Mark has a quad pod. And it's a quad pod with a blind over top of it. And there's two holes in the front of it. Now, I'm going to take my binocs in one in the left window. I'm going to have my X sight in the right window. I get in there a little bit before daylight. And he told me the times that the hogs hit it yesterday. I set my X site up. Now, the one bad thing about the setup is the holes are so small that my IR is outside the window. So I got to reach out, turn my IR on. Well, I get everything set up, the X site, I get it focused perfectly. And I'm getting my other tripod out to get my binox, binox set up in the left window. And I look out, I just look out with my naked eye, still daylight a little bit, and I see a hog out by the feeder, past the feeder, get everything set up. I do not put the binoc set up, but I jump onto my X site and I record. I'm going to do the first video. The first video you're going to see is that daylight footage. And I take a shot at this boar. I think I hit him back and a little bit high. I thought it's a good hit. The hog runs off like it's hurt. My plan now, and I, we text Mark back and forth, and I'm just going to stay there. I'm going to wait till Mark shoots one. Mark's hogs are coming in on his feeder about 10 in a 10 o'clock hour. I had hogs on my feeder that bore early and then 11 o'clock. So the, at the latest, I'm going to stay till 11 o'clock, maybe get another shot. If Mark shoots, I'll get out, look for mine and then help Mark get his and we'll get out of there. Waiting on Mark. I'm sitting here. There's probably three raccoons, I think at one point and three deer underneath the feeder. And I got everything set up now, the binox in my left, the X site in my right, and I hear something out there. We're 10 o'clock hour now, waiting for Mark to shoot on my phone, just kind of on Facebook and stuff, and I heard something at the feeder. I look out with my scanner and the hogs underneath the feeder again. So I got another set of hogs out there. Go over to my binox, turn them on, they start recording. I'm gonna make sure they're recording. I get onto my X site and this hog hunting is always adapting, man. And sometimes you got to, there's certain times you just got to shoot whenever you have to. So I get on my X site. There's one big sow with some babies. There's three other no, pretty nice sized hogs and two of them run, but I think they're chasing each other. It didn't, that didn't alarm me. But the third of the nice size ones ran and the big sow that I end up dropping heads heads come up its head comes up and uh, kind of worries me a little bit you always have that first shot in mind now you get another group on there i'm on the x site so instead of going and turning my ir on out the window and chancing it and even hit the record button i'm already recording with my binox i dropped the sow i don't know if i turned my ir on right then but there was two piglets to the right and I don't normally shoot more than one pig, but if a pig's going to stand there and just be still, I'm going to take it. Drop one with a headshot, one of the piglets. I, I know to then I had my light on. I turned my IR on because I seen reviewing the video that my IR was moving around, and I caught one more piglet probably about 15, 10 to 15 yards behind the feeder 
run back there and stop again. So I dropped, I dropped another piglet. I dropped three pigs in the second group. Got down then and I started to look for the other one and I looked and if you know anything about Abbeville County in South Carolina it is once you hit the woods out of these fields man it is thick and it is summer now it is April well I'm at 25 kills but I'm in April and everything's growing and it is so thick in that area I looked and I did a grid pattern in that area out to the property line and I just could not find that boar I think I hit it good, but I just hit it back and high. Uh, I think it's dead, but it got far enough away from the field where it was just too tough to tough to hunt. So I got three confirmed kills. I'm at 25. Mark, come over, help me then, and we're going to get back out there. I know Mark will get back out there and kill more, but it's great to have a buddy, man. It is as happy for you as you are for him whenever he harvests. So we're going to jump into... The daylight, little bit of daylight video with the Excite, and my only recording on the other hogs was with my Binox, but I got a really good video. I did check out the video, and it's really good, so we'll check that out. Thanks for liking, subscribing. 25, we're on our way to another 100 in South Carolina, and we're going to get on them hard here soon with the thermals. Thanks for watching.